This is the end of the mystery. Well, well. Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Devin coming back at you with another video today on Pub Stomp MTG. And in this video today, I'll be doing a CDH deck tech or a CDH discussion, if you will, around the Master of Keys. And this is one exciting commander that I honestly want to build around for CDH specifically. And before I go any further into this deck tech, if you can, check out the link down below in the description for my Patreon. There's a lot of great benefits if you want to join for yourself. Also, check out my TCG player affiliate link down below if you're looking for any of these cards. And if you're looking for any accessories for your cards in any way shape or form make sure to check out arcane fortress it's a great option for uh, protecting your cards so now with that out of the way let's get back to the commander the master of keys and i will say this is one incredible commander after looking it over and over again this is just an underworld breach commander essentially i mean not underworld breach because it's not in red but it itself is an underworld breach for enchantments so let's read what it does for x white blue and a black it's a legendary enchantment creature horror it does have flying and when it does enter put x11 counters on it and mill twice x cards each enchantment card in your graveyard has escape the escape cost is equal to the card's mana value plus exile three other cards from your graveyard so yeah that's pretty much underworld breach like i said previously but obviously you're focusing on enchantments and there's a lot of viable options to return creatures from the graveyard to the battlefield like use the animate dead effects but in this deck tech i'm going to focus on a lot of different combos that you can utilize i'm also going to focus on some synergies with the commander because there's other enchantments that we could take advantage of it, putting into the graveyard putting it onto the battlefield and so without further ado let's get it started So let's first talk about some enchantment synergy. Obviously our commander focuses on enchantments so that way we could escape them. The first thing I thought about with this commander besides the combo potential is using Mystic Remora to its fullest advantage. It can be pretty costly with a cumulative upkeep. The more you have it on the battlefield the more mana you're going to sink into it. But if we have a decent amount of cards in our graveyard to escape Mystic Remora we could just have the sacrifice at the beginning of your upkeep then play again. Also in tombs just essentially become tutors to our hand because we could just put like Aristic Study into our graveyard or even a Necropotent. Then after entombing those cards, depending on how much cards are in our graveyard, it's only three by the way, so it's not that costly. We could just put those from the graveyard to the battlefield with the escape cost. Because we need a lot of mana for our commander, we could take advantage of another enchantment like Smothering Tithe. Because a lot of people are drawing a lot of cards in the game, we could absolutely take advantage of that and put a lot of treasures on the battlefield to sink it into our commander later on to mill more cards into our graveyard. I also feel like this commander could absolutely take advantage of Dressdown because it's an enchantment itself. It does have flash, so you could flash this in at any opponent's turn and because our commander does have that ability to escape it from the graveyard we could use this anytime have it get sacrificed and reuse it again on another person's turn and of course this is very good especially with those etb effects with thassa's oracle and dockside so this is a no-brainer in the deck i feel like this is going to be extremely good so everybody knows these enchantments everybody knows that they're really good and obviously you have to include them if you're in these colors i just wanted to point out the synergy between the commander and all these enchantments that you could put them into the graveyard and then later on put them on to the battlefield but i will say there's a lot more combo potential with our commander because obviously it's an infinite mana outlet you could pay into the x ability and mill your whole entire graveyard so what are some ways we could get infinite mana in the deck well there's quite a bit especially an esper color combination one of the most notable ones is by using the whole breaker horror lines you use whole breaker horror to bounce mana positive rocks back and forth your hand onto the battlefield until you get infinite mana and then when you establish that infinite mana you could just sink it onto your commander and then mill your whole entire library and this is a clean easy way of getting infinite mana and honestly very easy because of a lot of anime dead effects say for example we mill an anime dead into our graveyard with our commander's ability we escape that anime dead then following that we could just reanimate our whole breaker horror and if we do have those mana rocks we could get infinite mana then bounce our commander to our hand and then dump all that mana into our commander another way we could get infinite mana is by using abdel adrian and one of those anime dead effects too and if you wanted to throw this one in ariak salvagers and lion's eye diamond could be another option probably not the best option compared to the other two but it is an option so once you establish that infinite mana how do you win exactly well because our commander does have that underworld breach effect with enchantments we could utilize animate dead necromancy and dance of the dead to win the game with thassa's oracle you could also use the new chthonian nightmare to sacrifice our commander to reanimate a thassa's oracle from the graveyard to the battlefield as well obviously because we are in demir color combination you could use tainted pact and demonic consultation with a thassa's oracle and because we do have azorius colors we could use displacer kitten and teferi timer 
Unraveler to get infinite mana and draw our whole entire deck. So there are ways to win without our commander. Obviously our commander is the combo outlet in the command zone so we might as well utilize that as well. I do think our commander can be a great intuition commander because you search your library for three cards and reveal them. Target opponent chooses one. Put that card into your hand and the rest into your graveyard then shuffle your library. There are some ways to win with intuition piles. One that I could think of is having a hole breaker, horror, tidespound, tyrant, and an anime dead. All you really need is anime dead in your hand or in the graveyard with your commander on the battlefield. You could cast that anime dead and then target one of those creatures that were put into the graveyard of your opponent's choice and then put it onto the battlefield. Get the infinite mana going with one of those mana positive rocks and win the game with your commander. Another intuition pile was actually brought up on Reddit with Little Ajax. And I'm not necessarily going to read the whole thing. You could just pause the video and just read it for yourself because I'm a little lazy that way. <laughs> I just wanted to give credit where credit is due. And if there is any other combos with our commander or really any synergies, let me know down below in the comments just in case if I missed any. I mentioned previously that this is probably not an S tier commander, but how does it stack up to other Esper commanders? Well, it has some stiff competition with Tivit Seller of Secrets. They're doing similar things because Tivit Seller of Secrets is technically an infant mana outlet. On top of that, Tivit Seller of Secrets does have a two card combo. So I personally would say Tivit Seller of Secrets is better. I would say this runs pretty similar to Zer the Enchanter. Zer the Enchanter does have to attack though, all the while our commander is an infinite mana outlet itself and can reanimate cards from the graveyard to the battlefield as long as they're enchantments. So I could see this being a little better than Zur. Maybe I'm completely wrong, but I will say this could be a pretty viable commander in CDH. I don't know how viable it is going to be in the tournament setting, but as a CDH commander or even as a fringe CDH commander, I could see it being pretty decent. I don't think this is going to overtake Tivit Seller Secrets, however, because Tivit's very busted, but I could be mistaken. But I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments. Again, did I miss anything? Is there any other combo potential that could be taken advantage of with this commander? But just to give you my overall thoughts, I love this commander, I love the design, and I absolutely love the art too. This is a commander that I do plan on testing out myself, and I'll try to report here and there if it does work or not. But if you can, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe, that definitely goes a long way in supporting the channel. And with that out of the way, thank you for stomping by.